The idea of the Glossus project came about in 2008, when Jose Maria and I were uh, spending some time together before our Disney concert. I was thinking ahead to the 50th season of the San Luis Obispo, our anniversary season. I asked Jose, would you be willing to write a concerto for guitar and orchestra for that occasion? And probably never been done before. And I was thinking, well, maybe Vivaldi, with all the concertos he wrote, he probably had a violin and guitar concerto in there somewhere. Nope, never did it. And all through history, you'd think somebody would put this combination together. But um, this was the very first time, and uh, it turned out to be just a magical piece. I mean, I, I was astounded when we finally got the score, and I got the score, and I got to listen to them. I knew Jose Maria was a brilliant composer. He's written some magnificent pieces of music. I've heard so many of them, and I love them. And uh, this Glossus piece really was a uh, really combination of our friendship and uh, his friendship with the San Luis Obispo Symphony. Glossus is an antique term, an ancient term of Castilian language for variations and ornamentations. I've been coming to San Luis Obispo very often, so I know almost every single member of the orchestra, plus of course Michael Novak as one of my greatest friends. As a full four movements concerto, I think it's the only one for this kind of instrumentation. And since Annabelle, my wife, is a great violinist, I was very much inspired to write a concerto for both of us. I like to be named as a Spanish guitarist because I think Spanish guitarist is the combination of both techniques, flamenco and classical. My companion in this beautiful travel is uh, Anabel Garcia del Castillo. The third person as a soloist, which is Roberto Bosmediano, he plays the cajon, the flamenco percussion. We need him to melt the sound and the rhythm of the orchestra with the three soloist in just one musical, rhythmical pattern. I really enjoyed every single bit of the recording because it gave me the chance and the opportunity to really digest what I wrote. So what I do with the guitar is just answer her, answer the violin with glosses. I had a lot of notes in this piece. It's true, and sometimes I was telling Jose Maria, this is a labor of love you are putting on me by doing this, because some of them were really hard. Of course, composers learn uh, about instruments and their writings, but, um, you know, another thing is to put it on reality. And it has been, I think, very useful to try these things, and it has been lots of fun doing it. <laughs> 